Well, hallelujah. Well, good morning, all of you that are listening. Oh, man. I'm sitting here in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, and I'm just blessing God. I'm just blessing God for this great day and being alive. Oh, it is so wonderful to say hello to all of you that are listening to all these nations, and we are so thrilled to be able to bring you this God, country, and us. My name, well, my name is Dr. Barbara Jennison, and I'm with Wind of the Spirit Ministries. And if you would like to write us, please write us. Please let us know what uh, you think about the broadcast, and if you have prayer requests, send them to us. I promise you, we pray for all of you. You're listening to us in Russia, and you're listening to us in Australia, and Canada, and America, and South Africa. Yeah, there's a lot of nations now that we're listening to in Philippines and Germany. Hello, Germany. Uh, We're listening to you in the Netherlands. Thank you for listening. We really, really appreciate you. You are extremely important to God, and you're very important to us. The title of this is God, Country, and Us. Several years ago, we were asked to come back on the air, so I went to God And God is so important to me. So today we're going to talk about God. I'm going to share something about God to you today, okay? And let me tell you, I don't like to make the broadcast very long because I want you to grab this and think about it and pray about it. But when we were asked to come back on the air, we had a um, demo that we had to do. So I sought God. I went to God for several days. I mean days. And I sought God. I fasted and I prayed. And God gave me the title, God, Country, and Us. So today we honor God. God to all of us is different. means different things. You may think of God as just being God up in the sky. But let me say, God is everywhere. God is in the trees. He's in the beautiful birds. He's in your dog. He's in your cat. He's in your baby boy. He's in your mama. He's in your grandmother or Oma here in South Africa. God is everywhere. He's in your nation. He's in your family if you allow him to be. That's one thing about God. You look in, you can look all around and you can see the beautiful trees. I can look around and I can see the beautiful clouds floating by. Where do you think those came from? They didn't just come from our hands. They didn't just come from the atmosphere. They came because God made them. You know, a long, long, long time ago, God said, let there be. And let there be, there was. Because God had in his infinite mind, and let me say, it is infinite, that he wanted to create earth, he wanted to create you, and he wanted to create me. And honey, and sir, let me say this. He created male, And he created female. So that's God. And one of the things about God when he creates is when you look at something or when you look at a baby boy, God gave you that baby boy. I don't care what you think. That creation, your creation, came from God. My self. I didn't just happen. God already knew who I would be from the very beginning of time. My name, he knew. He knew the color of my hair. He knew the color of my eyes. He knew how big I would be. He knew all about me. And God has had his hand on me ever since before the beginning of time. And it's the same way with you. Understand that God loves you so much. But you're saying to me, Barbara... Why, if God loves me, why, if God loves my family, 
Why is there so much evil in the world today? Let me say this. There's evil because we allow it to be. What? What are you saying? I'm saying there's evil because we allow it to be. We have become lazy. We have become sin, sin adjusted. We have, we have become, when somebody says it's wrong, we think it's right. That's how society has become today. But here's the way God sees it. God created you. And one of the things that I must share with you is this. No matter how an individual is, there are individuals that run your country. There's individuals that run your municipalities. There's individuals that run everything. But no matter what this individual is, you have a will. Now listen very close. God has allowed you to do your will. He will never violate what's going on in your will. So if you're an evil person or if you think wrong things, yes, he will put angels in front of your path. Yes, he will send people to you to talk to you about goodness, but he will never stop you because that is your will. He loves you so much, but here's the thing with God. You're heading to hell if you don't have a relationship with God. And even if you die, God will never step in and change your will. He will love you all the way to hell, but he won't stop it. It is your ball game, whether you want God or not. So God rules the whole world. He said, let there be, and there was, let there be. And when you look at your baby girl, or you look at your baby boy, or you look at your doggy, or you look at your kitty, or you look at the beautiful birds, you look at your beautiful country. It's because God has created them. Everything he has created. God is God. And I promise you, God wants the best for you. But for you to have the best... You have to give him your heart. And that's receiving Jesus Christ into your heart. And the ones of you that are listening, and if you've never made a commitment to Jesus, just take a moment with me right now. Close your eyes. Just say this simple prayer. Say, Jesus, forgive me my sins. Jesus, come into my heart. And Jesus, I'll live for you. That's how easy it is. And it's called being born again. So God, country, and us. I'm going to be talking in the next broadcast about your nation. And by the way, thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. We really appreciate you, Jan. We really appreciate you, Internet. I really appreciate you, Raynard, Lonnie, Yost. I really appreciate you, Celicia. I really appreciate you, Milu. You're so sweet. And for a little Alexander, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you in South Africa. I appreciate you in America. Thank you so much. All of you, you me, you're very special to me. All of you are. Please drop us a line. Drop it to windofspirit at yahoo.com. God, country, and us. Bye for now.